I used to be respected, you know. A word carried weight. One tiny mistake and suddenly no one trusts me. My troops were acting strangely, plotting something. Obviously they were traitors, all the warning signs were there. The smart move was to kill them all. How could I know they were planning a surprise party for my promotion? I'm sure it was an honest mistake. My men did a good job of keeping me in the dark. Too good, the blasted idiots. You have to listen to me. This time, I'm not being paranoid. This time, I've identified a major threat to Imperial security. There are Kuban spies all over the jungle, and they're invisible. You can only see them when lightning flashes disrupt their stealth technology. Don't be a fool. Just like my superiors, dismissing me because of a simple past mistake. You have to believe me. The Empire's enemies are up to something. The Kubas are here assessing our strengths and weaknesses for them. I just know it. Scour the jungle, watch the lightning flashes, and strike when you see a Kubas. Kill the snouted scum and bring me proof. Aha! A holo communicator with Kubas markings on it. This will shut up those fools calling me paranoid. With this, I'll finally prove there are spies all around us. My superiors can't ignore this kind of evidence. You've done a great service for both me and the Empire, my friend. Take this, and my thanks. Finally someone who will understand, or maybe even assist me in my work. My idiot apprentices got themselves killed during a simple ritual, and they still have the runes I entrusted to them. They just had to summon a dark side beast, a Sith spawn, and bring it to me. I even researched the artifact to bind it. Could you help? I'm sure there's some way we could work this out. Yes, yes, you'll be showered in rewards once I have my Sith spawn. Oh, you'll need to subdue the Sith spawn before the artifact can bind it. If it bleeds, I can kill it. Get the runes from my apprentice's bodies and take them to the archway in the jungle. The artifact is hidden there. It'll guide you. Well, don't just stand there. Go and get my Sith spawn. Yes, magnificent. Only the dark side engenders such power, such... Oh, you're still here. Will this satisfy you? Don't say thank you or anything. You did well, but my work's just begun. Leave me. Damn it, this would never have happened on my watch. Ah, my lord. It's good to see that the Sith haven't let things slide. Not like the rest of this circus of an empire. First, it's slave rebellions in the jungle. Then this. We wouldn't have allowed these kinds of things 30 years ago. If it's so serious, get help from the Imperial military and leave me alone. There isn't time for that. I was sent to this construction site to investigate unusual behavior among the droids. I wasn't here long when one of the units attacked me. I barely escaped with my life. But worse than that, I found this transmitter on the droid. What exactly does this have to do with me? It's apathy that's destroying this empire from the inside out. I warn my superiors what would happen if they continued to be lax about this planet's security. Someone, an independent interest, a rogue Sith Lord, is using these droids to broadcast Car City's schematics to an off-planet location. I don't have time for this. That kind of lackadaisical attitude is what's bringing this empire down. We need to get those transmitters. If we can remove enough of them from the droids, it'll make the data they're sending unintelligible. The sooner we get those transmitters out, the better. This information can't end up in the hands of our enemies. Back already? And you have the transmitters? Don't act too surprised. I think you had no faith in me. You're right. I owe you thanks. If you'll give me a moment, I'll upload the data to High Command and we'll see what's what. This is worse than I ever would have imagined. Lord Grathen's behind this. He has to be. Could you try to explain things from the beginning? He's covered his tracks well. We won't be able to prove it, but Lord Grathen has been sending security codes and planetary readouts off-world. Everything an invading army would need. Major Shellister is already en route to the probable invasion site with every soldier he can find. They'll meet you just across the bridge. Hurry. Major Shellister. Captain Eisen asked me to come by. He was under the impression we were being invaded. Glad to see you, all of you. Over the last three days, a series of transmissions left Drummond Kars and were received by ships orbiting a nearby asteroid. These transmissions contained safe landing coordinates for the planet's surface and security codes to bypass the orbital defenses. We can't waste any more time. Just so. Several hours ago, small shuttles built to avoid sensor detection began to land 
and deliver troops to the planet's surface. These troops are brutal alien mercenaries of the exiled Lord Titonus. Students of Sith politics will remember she was the rebel who declared her own kingdom on Bagheera. There's a very simple solution to this problem. Lots of blood. It seems a foregone conclusion. Lord Titonus has judged her timing perfectly. With so many of our forces off-planet, it is possible she could take Kao City if she lands her entire mercenary army. We must stop her shuttles from landing and beat back her forces. I've thrown every resource I have down there already. Now it's up to you. Lord Titonus' invasion has been stopped. And Lord Titonus herself slain. Word is already spreading across Drummond Cass. We'll never be able to prove Lord Gratham was behind the transmissions that allowed her invasion, but it doesn't matter. Everyone who matters knows the truth, and Gratham is already losing influence and followers. Next time, don't look to me. Of course, we should be able to take it from here.